What's good, baby? Good to see you boys as always. Every single one of you looks so handsome. And have you grown since I last saw you? Nice girth. Don't listen to this. He's an idiot. Today is the first day of the playoffs. And this means so much to me. And you guys should know why it means so much to me. It means so much to me because I took one of the most embarrassing losses of all time. And it's not just embarrassing for me to lose a game. Half a million people watch it. So half a million people got to collectively make fun of me. It's actually more than half a million because I posted it as a YouTube short because I'm a sellout piece of shit and I have no values or morals or ethics and I post YouTube shorts because I hate myself. And I think another million people saw it there. Now that was the second game in the season. A game I certainly should have won. Played like an idiot and bit the bullet for it. Despite those hardships, despite being one and two at one point, we went on to win the next full Four straight games, propelling us to five and two and securing a playoff berth. Our work is not done yet, though. We have two games to win until the Super Bowl. And if we can win that, it will be one of my greatest seasons of Wheel of Mutt. We recently added Randall McDaniel, a stud 91 overall left guard. We've got Orlando Brown, Will Shields, and Panay Sewell. Jason Kelsey continues to be a horrible prestige decision. I'll just admit it. Mike Gesicki and Mercedes Lewis at tight end. We recently pulled Herman Moore and have not got to play with him yet. So that'll be exciting to see. Alvin Kamara had one of the most prolific, historic, legendary games with 296 yards rushing in an online head-to-head -head game that we won just barely. Justin Fields continues to be amazing and the Nigerian Nightmare is my favorite prestige of all time. So I've got both my worst and best prestige ever on the same season of Wheel of Mud. I respect that. Jay Jettas has also been an incredible prestige. We know he's a monster and Juju's in there at slot. Defensively, there are some things to be desired. Number one, Ed Reed. I have very much struggled to get Ed Reed upgrades, and now I'm stuck with an 84 Ed Reed going into the playoffs. Luke Keekley is pretty damn good. Vander Esch is underwhelming, and this Lawrence Taylor is not very good either. So we're wishy-washy on linebackers. Sauce Gardner. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but bro, if I make it to the Super Bowl, this might be my prestige, bro, because you know Sauce Gardner is getting Defensive Rookie of the Year, and then he's going to get a 98 overall card or whatever that is. Revis and Champ are amazing. Let's complete Tito's Revenge Tour, but we got to start with one game at a time, and one wheel spin at a time. Let's see what it's got for us. The Blitz promo is out. It's absolutely insane. Hopefully I can get a wheel spot. Woo! I just said a wheel spun. I'm so sorry. I was going to say I want a wheel spin corresponding to Blitz, but Positions Jackpot is a potentially amazing wheel spin. Unless I get like fullback, in which case I already have it. Let's take our spin and see what we can get. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. Don't you dare. O-line. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. It almost did it to me. Dude, this is what's so crazy. My prestige is so bad that I'm, I'm about to replace him. I actually don't know if that's the smartest. I almost think I should get like a god tier right tackle. I feel like a right tackle is more important than a center. I don't know if that's true. In the grand scheme of things, Jason Kelsey and Panay Sewell are not that far in overall. I think Jeff Saturday is a really nice card. Yeah, dude, Jeff Saturday. <laughs> Colts head. This is the Colts head coach, right? This is the Colts head coach. What's weird when you look at the Colts head coach, he's a small guy guy. Jeff Saturday is 6'2", 295. Dude, it's so weird, like, how much he's slimmed down since the league. It's, you'd almost think it's two different guys. Look at Jeff Saturday now. He's this, like, handsome, fit guy, and he's 6'2", 300 here? How do you lose 100 pounds? Either way, this is the best center of the game, and it ain't close. 91 strength, 94 awareness, insane blocking stats. He's gonna cost a pretty penny. I'm sorry, Jason Kelsey. Jason Kelsey, until you give me a playoff card or something, I made a bad call. Alright, so to start us out, our offense is now a 90 overall with Jeff Saturday at 94. That is our highest overall player. Oh my god. We're really gonna do the re-rolls again? Dude, re-rolls are so fun, but I got clapped last time I did re-rolls, bro. I got shit on. Alright, so the only re-rolls available are Harvest and All Madden. I say we YOLO it and go All Madden all the way, because All Madden has a chance at 93 overalls. I don't find it realistic, but we're gonna try it anyway. Our first one, 82 Lawrence Taylor. There's a whole lot of options, but we're not getting any of them right now. I believe this is pack number four. If I pull my good player on pack number 10 though i'm gonna have to go back and look if i cheated pack number five so far nothing pack number sheesh the 82s quick sell for like 600 so if you get only 82s you're absolutely clapped I'm, I'm literally just throwing training down the drain throw me a bone here you know you want to pack eight you got a big clutch dude pack number nine dude, it's so trash pack number 10 is oh yes Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was literally the tenth reroll. That's a nasty prestige right there. Although I feel like I prestige Aaron Donald in the past. Eighty-eight 
overall, Aaron Donald, not the best card in the world, but it is a significant upgrade on the edge. I also believe Strahan's a left end, so this works out perfectly. How good is this Aaron Donald? He's got 83 speed, 88 excel, 87 block shed. He is above average all around the board. You wish you were as, you literally wish you were as smart as me, honestly. You, you Every day you go to bed thinking, damn, I wish I was as smart as Papa Meeks. And I don't blame you. All right, so we added Aaron Donald. We added Jeff Saturday. I don't even know what I necessarily want to add. Maybe a really, really good D tackle. House rules, dump signs, third. Oh, my favorite. Yes. Dude, I love this. I'm getting all my favorite wheel spins right now for the first playoff game. So we've got survived the playoffs here on the far left, but there is a blitz house rules. It's a super weird house rules. You get four points for a sack. You get two points for a 15 plus air yards pass. If you haven't played it or haven't seen a video on it, it is a little confusing, but I'm just, I'm going to make it simple here. We're going to hop in, catch a fat fucking W and you'll figure it out. Oh my God. What are you doing? Dude, if, if, if my 87 Juju torches you, you did something wrong. Why did Juju just fucking ruin that guy? Oh, I can't get sacked. Oh, I literally forgot as I was stepping up in the pocket. Uh, I'm just gonna check this down. Ooh, Jeffrey. Oh, I'm sending Jay Jettas. He's pressed on Jay Jettas. He's only got a single safety up high. I'm stepping up. Ooh, okay. If, oh, by the way, if you kick a field goal, you instantly lose. That's one of the rules. Even though the game will suggest field goals to you, you instantly lose if you kick one. I'm looking at Jefferson. Oh, can he make that? Oh my God, what a catch. Oh, Camara, beautiful. Oh, second and four. I'm gonna go stretch right side and we're gonna let Okoye throw a heater. Oh no, Matt, cut the ball up field. Okoye, no. Fourth and five. I suck so bad. Dude, he threw a bad ball and it worked out perfectly for him. He throws under to McCaffrey. That's fine. He's not going to get any points for that. Play action. Off the edge. Shit. Get there, get there, get there. Oh, Ed Reed's too damn slow. Oh, Micah. Micah was so close. Dude, we're literally right in his face, but we're not getting it. Get down! Ed Reed! <laughs> Ed Reed's gonna get it? Oh my god, wait a minute. Are we counting this? Are we counting this? <laughs> Are we counting that? Game. And he quit! 84 Ed Reed just got a pick six. So technically, a pick six and a touchdown is two upgrades. That was house rules. So I'm gonna give him only one upgrade. Ooh, that's an interesting playmaker he made, but Revis is too damn good. I'm going with the stretch. No, yes, no way you just, ma you got put on the ground. I think RB's there. Oh my God, Juju is getting so many reps. Look at this, look at this, look at Gasicki. Get there, Gasicki. Probably, he's probably got a man blitz here. Oh, big boy man blitz. Oh yeah. Run. Wait, what the fuck did I just do? Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Easy. Oh, oh, oh no. Yes, get him out, get him out, get him out. Ooh, well, it was a good ass audible. All right, we're able to stop him. He does get two points for those air yards. This is looking like it'd be a good game. Big hit, big hit, big hit. Oh, we gotta get bigger, we gotta get bigger. Ooh, I did not see that route at all. He could still throw Dalvin Cook again. Wow. <laughs> wow, speed run, Dalvin Cook. He tried to down the ball. What? That's okay, four to 10. I gotta score a touchdown and get my two point or pass for 15 yards in the air. Kasiki down the middle should be two if he catches it. Let's go. Six to 10, now we just need the touchdown. Let's go on the stretch. Dude, how the fuck are you unblocked? Big blitz. Oh my God, that man coverage was oppressive. But Herman Moore catches it third and three. Let's get out of bounds, Juju. Let's go. Yes, yes. I'm whip routing this man to death. I don't know if this is man. I think I can hit Jay Jettas though. Oh, he beat me. Fuck, nice play, nice play. Oh, he is gonna throw it. GG, GG, GG. Tough 
game. I can't play like that in the playoffs, say that. We have only 30K to spend on one player. Could I get an 88 overall? Like an 88 right guard. Is that possible for 30K? I can't do damn near anything with this. I guess I could get 88 overall Cooper Cup. Let's add a little bit of grit to our offense. All right, my backfield's looking a little athletic, if you ask me. With a 90 offense, an 88 defense, and an 89 overall, we've got a playoff game to play, boys. Now, we, of course, have the challenge wheel. I'm gonna show it to you just like this. Try and make it a little more simple for you guys. And my editor, who is an absolute god. Yes, what do we got here, baby? Yes, What's the challenge wheel for the playoffs? It is 100 yards with a backup. That's scary. We'll have to see how the game is looking. However, the playoffs challenge wheel is extra important. If I complete a playoffs challenge wheel, I can open any pack in the game, even if it costs training. And of course, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. They sell coins on every single platform. You can also directly buy players or training points. Buying limiteds and quick selling them is probably the safest route, so I recommend that. This is a significantly better deal than what EA is going to offer you, and you can get 10% off when using the code MMG. Just use the link at the top of the description. Wait, wait, wait. Here's his team. He's got the OJ Howard, Carmichael, and Sweetness. We've got Fields, Jay Jettas, Micah Parsons. Now, as far as 100 yards of the backup, I do have McCole Hardman as my backup wide receiver. I feel like that's got to be the guy. We just got to put him in somewhere where he's going to get a lot of reps and, and then hope he can kind of take off. He's got 89 speed or something. He's not bad. All right, big kickoff. Sweetness has first one free activated. We have to have a good return team right now. Is he running the football? No, he's passing. Cross drag. One of my favorites. Oh, no way! He didn't animate! Sauce Gardner, the pitch back! Sauce, throw me a block! He dives early! The playoffs are starting to hunt! I would be so pissed he had the angle. He just didn't animate. So slot offset. Let's send Hartman underneath. Let's see if we can just hit him with a real easy one. See where Zuzer is? Maybe I can get him to look at Lewis or Kamara. Nice and simple. Oh, ho, 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 ho. not exactly. Well, you know what? What am I talking about? That is an amazing start. We turned him over. We got points up on the board. But trying to get the ball to Hardman just made me play a little passive there. Kind of think he passes. He's going to pass. He's going to pass. <sighs> Nice ball to Carmichael. Okay, we're gonna go man coverage if he's gonna wide me out like this. Covered. Everything's covered. Not everything. I do not like... Oh, no way! What a move! He fucking faked out computer Ed Reed and me. Dude, these linebackers are a liability, and I could have upgraded linebacker. So this is mid blitz, right? So Cooper Cup is wide open. Gotta play smart every time. Cooper Cup. Easy throw. Keep things simple. Cooper Cup. Oh, 88 Cooper Cup. No shot. Camara. Oh my God. Camara's so open right there. I just don't have any time back there. Fourth and five. Jay Jettas. Beauty. Gasicki. Oh, he overran it. Overcommitted. Hard cut back. I'm not getting Hardman a lot of anything right now. Dude, he's running mid blitz. Like, shouldn't this work? Shouldn't mid blitz work here? That's fucked up. That is so fucked. How stupid this play sets up. That doesn't make any sense. Is his user on Camara? No, it's... Oh. What is going on? I'm looking for Cooper Cup once again. Oh, he's open. No, he's not. It's underthrown horribly. Oh, he had so much room. All right, well, we got to play some defense now. I'm going to have to come out in a totally different offensive side. I'm going to start running the ball like crazy. Island. All right, let's go. We're playing fucking genius football from here on out. I'm running stretches, screens. I, I, I'm pulling everything out of the playbook here. Let's go. Beautiful run. Way to cut, Camara. Beautiful. No. Oh, Gesicki. Who are you blocking? I think it's Tampa 2. I think I can hit Jay Jettas early. Yes, right there. Beautiful window. Mid blitz. Hold him. Hold him. He's out in mid blitz already. If Okoye can get one decent block, this might go house. Go, Okoye. Flattened him! Kamara! Oh, almost fully broke that, but still took us to third and four. Great block, Okoye. Let's go, Okoye up the hill.
He doesn't. Beautiful execution. 37 seconds left. No timeouts. And his only touchdown right now is a, a Hail Mary bomb to Gabe Davis. So we just keep him in bounds. Don't even let him get a field goal. Get the ball at half. I'm blitzing Palomalu. I'm getting Fitz Magic here. Wait for it. Jump the snap. Jump the snap. There it is. Fitz Magic. No! I missed! Dude, what are you throwing? That should be intercepted too. I could have sacked him. I'm going to do it again. Or wait, he's going to throw 17. I'm there! No, I knew it. I literally knew it. Let's go! My offense might suck ass, but his offense sucks way more ass. My defense is clamping right now. Nine point ball game. I'm making this an 11 point game right here. He thinks it's a stretch. Shit. And I should have done stretch. Stretch would have worked. We are in the driver's seat. No, I hate when it does this. It glitches out. I can't change it. All right, whatever. I think Hardman might be open here. Oh, no. He knew exactly what I was doing. And I didn't get that off to Cooper Cup. Second and 20. I love that he keeps floating to the wrong side with his user. Like, he, he knows I'm running left. And he's floating to the middle. I'm thinking I should be able to get this rollout right. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at Jay Jettis. What a ball! There is no way that's an early breakup. He really is still in gun tray. He got nothing. Ooh, barely came down with that one. Ooh, he does hand it off again. Another run play. Oh, play action. Good ball. I'm sending a lot here. I think it's a run. Oh, it's play action. Get there, get there, get there. <sighs> How can you complete that? Off your back foot. Justin Jefferson couldn't even catch it. Converts to two points. 15 to 16. It's a ball game all of a sudden. Whoa! That's what I like to see! Jay Jettos is in. I'm bringing this right back to a nine-point game. Got him. That was an angle route. How did it go out there? Whoa! Kick return touchdown. Not a lot of skill behind that. So I need to go down and score a legitimate touchdown. Oh, actually, you know what? Give him one. And we're even. Ah, uh, all right. Whatever. He ain't ready for this. He! Oh. Go low. I'm there? I'm not there. Dude, I'm telling you how that OJ Howard is so fast. But he's not gonna be able to do that twice. <sighs> he had OJ Howard. Who has the ball? Ed Reed! Hey, break up, buddy. I'm on all of these. No, I'm not on Carmichael. Ooh. Oh, wait, this was play action last time. And he went to Howard. <gasps> Sauce! He overthrew it! <laughs> we were there, Sauce Gardner with two interceptions in the playoffs. JJ is in that same pocket. He's always in that cover two pocket. Dude, I'm barely throwing 105 yards. There's no way I'm going to get all of them to Hardman. Like, if I could hit Hardman over the top on this, maybe. Right now, I can't do a damn thing. <laughs> Dude, that Jordan Davis is damn near faster than Justin Fields. Let's put Hardman on a user playmaker. I can't contend with mid blitz. It's so fucking cheap. It's so stupid. I can't beat it. He's running literally mid blitz the whole time. But the only way I know how to beat this is to do this. Hand the fucking ball off and let Okoye throw a heater. Let his trash ass user miss a tackle. And I'll go for eight yards. It's, it's cheap as hell the whole time too. God, your ass. Oh, what a move. Sauce! Sauce doesn't get up. He's down there, man. Yes. Ed Reed! Is that a TFL? Oh, he got a yard. I almost just got a TFL, Ed Reed. It's also huge because it took him to a two-minute warning. I don't think he runs the ball again. Get there! Let's go! We take Fitz Magic down. He's running out of clock. We're there. Van Der Esch! I talked shit about you, Van Der Esch, but that was clutch. It's fourth and goal. He's got a pass, dude. He's passing. I'm guessing pass. We're dropping everyone back. We've got bodies. He calls a timeout. Ah, oh, this is the smart decision, actually, because you need this regardless. That is a smart decision. Oh. <laughs> ah, it's so greedy. I just, I had to. <laughs> I'm playing with fire. Ah, I'm playing with fire right now. Once again, Kamara in the run game. Carry the fucking game. 15 run plays, 15 pass plays. That's balance right there, baby. Hey, great game. Our kick return touchdown was actually one of the biggest things for me in that game. But a win is a win. No challenge wheel, obviously. McCall, no backup was getting 100 yards. 
Fitzmagic threw a lot better than Fields. Eight for 15, no touchdowns. Although, he did have four interceptions. I only had one. Rushing, Kamara was amazing. Uh, Justin Fields on that read option. Should not have done that. And then receiving, Howard was amazing. Jay Jettis did a little bit here and there, but there wasn't a single a single player in the game with over 100 receiving yards. So if I was going to get that to Hardman, I'm an absolute savage. One loss until elimination. One win until the Super Bowl. Sauce Gardner had to have been MVP that game, bro. Sauce Gardner was absolutely crazy. Uh, I'm so glad Ed Reed got his small upgrade. And I got to work on the linebackers, dude, because when I switch over to 4-3 and Van Der Esch is slow ass and Lawrence Taylor's slow ass are in there, it is a liability. All right, appreciate you, boys. Thank you for watching, as always. And I'm going to see you in the next Wheel of Mutt, where we head into the NFC Championship. Wish me luck. Love you, boys. Peace.